What's up, YouTube? How's it going? I haven't seen y'all guys in such a long time. It's been crazy month for me. My Mac is decided to not work correctly and I couldn't edit any videos. And for a videographer, that is the worst case scenario. I, I thought that I could figure it out and I'm still struggling with it. It's allowing me to work on it, at least for now. And I have everything on an external hard drive, so I'm not risking anything like losing anything or nothing like that. So I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. But today, y'all guys are here for my new Zion crane. Uh, version 2, actually. So uh, I decided to get the, the version 2, the, the, the one that's designed for the more heavier DSLR cameras or mirrorless cameras, just because uh, I was going to get the Crane uh, M which is for the mobile stuff, but I decided not to just because uh, I have a DSLR and I work with DSLRs and I plan on getting a, a, a maybe a Sony a mirrorless cool camera in the future. I don't know what I'm going to do or when I'm going to do that, but I wanted to do that. So I wanted to show you guys what I use to get it to work because the, the Sony RX100 Mark V is quote unquote too light for this camera. So when I put it on there and I, and I moved all the way to the base, I didn't have enough room or it wasn't giving me enough weight. And it's true, I mean, it, it definitely is a little bit lighter. And they use it in the grams section. So this is, I believe it's 350 grams and up to a certain amount. And I don't know what that total is, but basically DSLR weight. Some people want to put or decide to put a quick release to give it that weight. Now that's that's okay, and I tried it, but it wasn't what I wanted. I do want to switch back and forth from another camera to another camera. I want to be able to make it as easy as possible to use both things. I know I'm going to shoot for the most part with the Sony RX100, but I wanted to be able to have some kind of flexibility to be able to do both. So what I decided to use was actually one of these which is kind of different. This is a two-way ma uh, macro uh, thing that you would put on a tripod. And what it does is if you hit this little lever right here, let me get that in there. Um, yeah, if you hit that little lever, uh, it you can spin it. And what it does is it moves back and forth. So you can use this as kind of like a slider type of thing, which is kind of its intention. But what makes this really interesting and, and why I chose to use one of these for the Zion was it's because it has some weight on it, some good weight too. So uh, it adds those missing 50 grams that you're missing with just the Sony RX100. Now I'm shooting with the RX100 now so I can't have it on the actual camera. And you would say, well you have a DSLR, why don't you shoot with a DSLR? So you could demonstrate the Sony RX100 but I will show you that and how it looks in different clips later so basically I slid I'll show you I'll move the camera out. so sorry about the shaky camera but I think this is probably be the easiest way to show you guys so what I did was I moved the plate on the bottom all the way to the front to add weight to go towards the front now the reason I did that obviously is to get more weight in the front but also so when the camera turns on you have a nice uh, weight uh, from the lens that pops out. Now, let me get this right because when this thing is off, like when the actual camera is off, what is a little annoying is it just goes all over the place. Like it just jumps around and I can't control this thing. But let me see if I can get this to kind of cooperate here. I'm just gonna go off frame here for a second just so I can get it right. Whenever I'm ready to release, it slides this bad boy back really quick. I unscrew it. Take it off, do whatever I gotta do. If I need to do it that way, usually you have more than one camera. If you're doing a shoot, then it's okay. But the quick release, I think, is a little overrated because you still, if you're jumping from a tripod, you still have to take it off, put it on the tripod. Just for me, it wasn't a big deal. And then when I wanna put it back on, I just put it back on, screw it back forward, and I'm balanced because I know exactly, because these do also come with little um, number indicators. I don't know if you can see it. But I remember that mine is right, like two right below the zero. And I mean, if I get it right, it's good. Um, and it works. The footage works. So now if I want to use my DSLR, 
I can, I have that option. If I wanna use my RX100, I have that option. This is a little more expensive, but it's worth it because I can use both items. I can use both products on this crane and the crane is awesome. It has so many cool features that, you know, and like I said, I got the version two. So the version two has the new thumb uh, joystick, kind of like the, the Osmo does. Um, it's got the joystick, it's got uh, the different modes that you can use and it's a really handy little thing. I'll show you some footage of what it's like using it. But guys, like seriously, this is going to be a game changer. The Sony RX100 is already a game changer. I got my, finally got my little stabilizer gimbal and I think that once I get all of this put together and be able to put some really cool stuff, I hope you really, uh, you know, if you're if you're if you're an RX100 user, you know that you really need something to make that footage just a little bit more professional and that gimbal uh, stabilizer. In my opinion, go with the big one. Spend a little bit of extra money. Go with the big one and have the options whenever they're there. Because if you go with the Crane M, which is the mobile one, you cannot put DSLRs on there. It'll die on you within no time. Um, and this is why I decided to go with this route. And like I said, the, the, the part that I added on there is a two-way macro adapter. Uh, if you look for one, I know people like to always link them down below. Maybe I'll do it, I'm just kind of lazy. Um, because like I said, I'm gonna have to edit this with my crap Mac right now. Crap Mac, that's interesting, but yeah. So yeah, see you guys on the next one, hope you, uh, figure out what you would decide to do but this is the way I decided to do it and I uh, hope you enjoy this video subscribe share do you think peace out YouTube